And we begin tonight with a Cameron woman who is still looking for help after she hired a contractor to finish her home. Instead, Brandon Myers is now accused of swindling $60,000 out of her pockets. A well, 6 News reporter Sydney Deshawn spoke to Diane Yates, who reached out to 6 News several weeks ago and opened up the door for this investigation. Sydney, we have some brand new updates to report. Yeah, we do, Chris Lindsay. Diane Yates wanted to add on to her home in Cameron, partly because she wanted to make family gatherings more comfortable but now she's living in chaos. She says if things don't get fixed, she will have to move out this winter. When it was still raining in the house, I would still cook meals. Cooking for family is something Diane Yates loves. Cinnamon and pecans in the middle of it. But now she can barely cook and even worse, barely live inside of her own home. The grandbabies can't even come over much because of everything that's kind of dangerous. I'm afraid they might get hurt. It comes after she hired a Cameron contractor who she says never finished the job. Yeah, I know he was young, had a young family, and I thought maybe I could help him out some. As it turned out, I didn't know that he'd scammed other people. Now she's out $60,000, so she reached out to 6 News and hoped someone would be able to answer her prayers. I tell you, I've just cried many a tear. But, you know, we're going to go on and I know the Lord will provide somehow. When the story first aired a week ago, some progress was made. Well, the electrician came out and he did put me in the outside light here. Having this rail and a wider step at the top has really helped me. But the work is nowhere near close to being done. Everything needs to be redone. Her roof is pouring in water when it rains or floors are not safe to walk on. Yates's family created a GoFundMe, hoping Central Texans could fix the home she grew up in before the winter time. None of us have a ton of money to help out, so we thought maybe we could ask the community to kick in and, and help out a little bit and we could get something where she could not be sleeping on the floor. Now there's more information about how you can help on our website. Meanwhile, the Milam County District Attorney's Office says they are hoping Brandon Myers gets arrested soon. They have reached out to law enforcement in Kansas to track him down. Yeah, from your video, Sydney, we can see the pain that was created. He needs to be caught and prosecuted. Thank you.